What's up everyone, it's Corbin and today I'm here to show you guys some Octagon maps. Now, Octagon is just a small 1v1 map that, you know, it's, well here it is. Um, now these maps are usually made earlier on because of the fact that they're so small and they are great ways to just develop different themes or settings if you're trying to learn how to create like a forerunner setting or something like that. Um, in this case someone developed a whole entire octagon to the MLG octagon which is really cool. Um, they did a great job making the logo and all that as you can see. But um, yeah, I'm just going to kind of run through some of these and just show you what's Victory. been made. It's only day two on Forge, by the way. So first you got like this MLG one, which is really nice, you know. It looks just as you would expect. It even has the stands in the background and the different colors and all the lighting and everything is really nice. So again, like I was saying, it, if you want to develop a map but you don't really know what yet, but you do know the setting and you want to just practice, Octagon is a great way to practice while also making something that can still be used. So to find these maps, you're going to go to Popular, and you're going to go to like the fourth or fifth page. So MLG is on the third page, right now at least. Um, and then you're going to go to the fifth page to find Uber Octagon. This is Uber Nix Octagon. It's really cool. It, it's super spacey and trippy and... I don't know, it's just a really good, aesthetically pleasing map. <laughs> there are some octagon maps in there that are literally just blank octagons that don't even function properly, that don't even have pathfinding for the AI and stuff, so... Uh, yeah. <laughs> just try to avoid those, and that's why I'm specifically showing off the ones that I am. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Get into this next one. As you can see already, it looks amazing. I love the color schemes. It's kind of like uh, the, the blue and pink. It kind of reminds me of just either retro or, you know, I don't know, just like the gamer room. I don't know if this bug, but for some reason it's blank. But yeah, like, just look at this part of the map. Beautiful. Now, like, like I was saying, um, when you make a map like this, I would recommend uh, trying to do everything that you could uh, for a map. So make sure you do all the pathfinding and do all that stuff because if you're going to put a map out that's simple like this, it's a great way to start to build a full-fledged functional map to, you know, to get good at everything that you really need to do to make a map Victory. functional. I've already, like I was saying, I already played a couple that where the AI just stood there, so I'm not going to even try. <laughs> I'm mainly just showing you the maps anyways, but uh, they did work on this map, and that's because Uber makes a Haas, and he actually goes the extra mile to make everything work and function, and probably even tested it with someone. Uh, but yeah, let's, uh, let's keep going on. Let's see, we got another one somewhere. There's so many pages, and they, they change a lot. Okay, so we have this one. Not sure if that one's good. We have this one. Warm up spawns. Okay. There was already two in the beginning that I passed. We can try this one. I mean, it's a. Uh, it was it was all right. I've already tried it. It looks all right. So I'll I'll show you this one and then I'll just go on to whatever else we got. <laughs> Figure out if it's uh if we got any five star octagons left. I'll just do that after this one and be four or five stars just to be fair you never know someone could be mean and just downvote it for no reason or maybe they're competing because they created a really awesome octagon and they want theirs to be the best i'm just kidding <laughs> all right so i imagine this would be kind of like the mlg one um but i did see it oh wait no this isn't the one i saw it's a different variant okay so yeah here's another one I did see an HCS one, but it was more like, it's like they made it to the HCS standards more than anything. But yeah, like, here's another one. As you can see, very simple concept. But it's really cool, nonetheless, you know. And these 1v1 ma maps are, like I was saying, a great way to, to start building a, an aesthetic. This is kind of like a space station, it looks like. You get, get like a good idea of what you're gonna have to do when you build like a huge map. But yeah, let's keep going. Victory. Don't wanna spend too much time. This one's a space 
Space Station Octagon. I don't think many of them are really trying to be realistic. I mean, no matter where you are, there's not too many octagon areas you can just battle in. <laughs> you know, in different settings. Let's go to another one. Let's just try this. Oh, wait. This is like that professional one, right? I hope this isn't the same one I just selected. I think this one, it said professional, so I'm thinking this one. When I say professional, it doesn't look the best. It just looks like it was set up to be the most standardized or fair. I don't know. Blinded by its majesty. Do they update or <laughs> update these messages? I I wonder. Oh, here it is. Okay, so here's another one. It's you know a little bit bigger, I think, if I remember correctly. Maybe that's why they called it the HCS one. Maybe that's like the standard size it needs to be, I guess, to be official. I don't know. But here's another one. You know, it's a very simple concept, but gets the job done nonetheless. And I don't know what this is. Like, is this like something I'm supposed to be able to do? I don't know. But anyways, yeah. So you got a whole bunch of different octagons, and all of them have different settings and themes and stuff like that but you know they're all really cool unless you just literally made a blank octagon this is actually a step up from that <laughs> this is actually nice i don't mind this one but um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed all these octagons you can find them in the popular section i would say all the creators names but i'll show you briefly before i end the video why i'm not really bothering to go out of my way to say the creators names because uh, first of all i kind of showed you where they are and second of all, let me just show you what happens when you try to look up who created something now. It's so, I don't know if this is normal or if it's bug or what, honestly. Like, I'm still confused about a lot of the stuff in the UI of Halo Infinite. So, for example, let's go on this one, right? Oops. I need to go on the options for it, sorry. So tags, credits. There's nothing. And then it says, it even says private files unpublished. How am I playing it then? <laughs> I really don't get that part. It's really weird because you're supposed to publish it and then, then that shows up on your file share, but maybe it can show up on popular before it even gets published. Collaborators, literally nothing. That happens on everything I click on and I'm not going to go investigate. <laughs> so three for three needs to fix that. Otherwise, people are going to not get credited for all their hard work, and that's complete nonsense. <laughs> so please, three for three, fix your menu, for God's sake. <laughs> it's been like, it's even worse than it was when, I, when, I, when the game came out, in my opinion. I love Halo, and, you know, Halo Infinite's really going to get good if they fix everything and release all the content that we need. <laughs> but, gosh, man, it's such a struggle, you know, everything. So I hope they fix that, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it. Sorry if I'm not super energetic. It took a while to record this, so I'm kind of getting tired of talking about octagons. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, please subscribe for more. I will have some more coming at you. <laughs> oh, all right, peace out.